Hey friends, um, a couple weeks ago when I was on spring break, I decided to go to the U.S. Whitewater Center. And I had a really good trip. I thought I would uh, share what it's like to be there for those of you that might be thinking about it. Um, I actually found a really nice place to stay right outside of the Whitewater Park. It's called an Airbnb. It's called Perfect Whitewater Getaway. And uh, the host is Joey, so you can check that out. I, I was there in March, so it was kind of cold. And when I finished, I went back to my place, Joey's place, which is really nice. And uh, he's got a hot tub there, so I sat in the hot tub. That was that was a pretty nice experience. So check it out. Anyway. Uh, for those of you that have never been there, there are three channels. There's an easy channel, and they don't let um, rafts through that one. And then the, the easy channel actually joins the medium channel later on. So you do, you may encounter rafts if you go far enough. And then uh, the medium channel really picks up, which you'll see in the video. It gets a little crazy. And then it dumps into a big pool. And then there's a conveyor belt that takes you right back up to the beginning. So you don't have to get out and walk. It's pretty nice. Now, if you're just going in circles and you're an experienced boater, it might get kind of boring. But if you're a play boater, there are tons of eddy lines to mess with, and there are waves you can surf. You'll see one of the nice surfing waves on the medium channel, and, um, and there's some holes you can play in as well. It wasn't too busy when I was there, but I was there in March. Um, anyway, there's also a difficult channel, which I guess is where the uh, slalom kayakers train. And that's a little crazy. It's got some crazy eddies. It's also got some dynamic uh, waves and play spots. Well, so I think if you're a play boater, it's it's pretty cool. Um, and so I I actually walked along the difficult channel and filmed it so you can get a good view of it if you're interested in that. And then um, I went ahead and paddled the difficult one so you can see it from the GoPro. Uh, vantage point. So anyway, it was it was a lot of fun. I've been there a few times. I think it's worth going and uh, check it out. If you have any questions, you can message me. Happy paddling.